Ever since the Cold War started, we were able to witness a change of United States foreign policy to interventionism. Countless of lives were sacrificed through invasions and bombings, with the claim that the U.S. intervened out of noble reasons to combat corruption, to promote civil rights or democracy. However, was it simply to support and encourage their ideologies? Their case of United States intervention of Panama demonstrates that out of excuse of promoting civil rights, the U.S. spread democracy in order to ensure later control and influence. On December 20, 1989, President George Bush commenced Operation Just Cause in Panama to dispose the dictator General Antonio Manuel Noriega, who was accused of drug trafficking, racketeering, and corruption. However, at first Noriega was a great ally to the United States as a CIA informant. He played a key role against communists by providing support against the leftist Sandinistas in Nicaragua. What is to be noted is that his corrupted acts were not unknown by the United States. They simply turned a blind eye towards him when he was a CIA asset. So then why the sudden change in attitude from an ally to an enemy if they had already known his acts? According to Bush's national security advisor, Brent Scrollcraft, the overthrowing was not mainly due to Noriega's drug trafficking or racketeering. Many others were actually doing the same. In fact, how Panama was not going accordingly to Bush's foreign policy agenda was what bothered the United States. Thus, out of excuse of defending democracy and human rights, they invaded Panama. With the successful intervention of convicting Noriega for 30 years in jail, the U.S. was able to place Panama right where they wanted, a country with the same political and economic ideology, which was a perfect place to inflict control and gain economic benefits. Certainly, the effects are shown with the current Panamanian government that does not question any topic U.S. proposes or votes differently in international affairs from the year 1990 to now. Additionally, with the fall of Noriega, the privatization of public services such as the telephone, electricity, and ports occurred, along with the sale of national production companies such as sugar or hydroelectric companies mainly to the United States making almost a monopoly of U.S. companies. Politically, a legal frame opened no restriction on spending in political campaigns in such a way that international conglomerates with foreign money can now buy the candidates and influence them in the way that brings benefits to 1% of the population. As shown, the U.S. intervention was not just for a good cause of promoting human rights. It was actually a method to open a pathway for easier influence and gain up economic benefits over Panama and even many other foreign nations as well.